Right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another tutorial. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But I did tell you I'd be back with a bang, and here I am. So, in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is basically follow on from the previous tutorial on the IP address connections and stuff like that. But what we're going to do now, instead of hardwiring it, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to have a little bit of GUI on screen so you can enter whatever IP you want. So then, if your friend ever wants to host a game and you're away, they can host the game by obviously port forwarding. Send them to my previous tutorial, they'll be able to do it. Jobs a carrot. So, what we're going to do basically is we're going to open up some nice GUI scripting languages. I don't know what I just said there. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the spawning script. If you don't know what the spawning script is, go back to a previous tutorial. Basically, it's just the script that handles the buttons that allow you to spawn, basically. And what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to get rid of the server one because we don't actually need the server one. And what I am going to do is I'm going to put these in parentheses because it's just easier to look at, especially for a beginner. It's easier to look at code that's actually set out like code than it is to, you know, mess about. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get the unit transport and we're going to basically enter the script of the unit transport and get the connect address IP string so we can edit the string within the game. So if you don't know what I mean, if I click on that and then you'll see here, uh, it says connect address, which is a string and we can access that from another piece of code, which is what we're doing now. So basically what we're gonna need to do before this is we're gonna have to put using MLAPI dot transport dot unit. This just allows us to access the actual unit transport code itself. Then what we're going to do is we are going to create a public string for ourselves. Str string cat bloody type. And then we're just going to call that IP address. Why did I do that? Come on. IP address. I'm going to put a capital there though, IP address, and what we're going to do is we're just going to make the IP address your default gateway IP address, so basically it's just your lo local host, so that'll be 127.0.0.1, it could be something different, but for me it's that, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to put unit transport, and then we're just going to call that transport, just for easy purposes, bump, and then what we're going to do, is we are going to go into our start button, which is this one. This just gets called in the on GUI. Boom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put transport, ooh, what am I doing, transport dot connect address and then equals IP address, boom, done. So essentially what this code does is this transport is obviously this variable up here. So what we're doing is we're getting the unit transport from our actual object itself which would be, which would be this one here so this specific one is the one we're getting then what we're doing is we're saying that the transport.connect address so that's essentially this variable where you gone this this variable here we're getting this variable here and we're equaling it to the IP address which is this variable in the actual spawning script which default is going to be 127.0 or you can you can have it as whatever you want you can have it as hello world if you want but that's just what i'm having it as just because it's it's always going to work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect get, copy this and paste it into my client just because that's all you need to be able to connect from your host to your client as well and then the last piece of code we're going to need is ip address ip address equals GUI dot text field. So this is basically what we're going to be using to input 
our actual IP address that we need to connect to our mates or for your mates to connect to us basically. I'm going to put it as 50, actually I'll put it as 40 for now. And then 220, just, these are just off your head box stuff. Yeah, anyway. And then it's going to be IP address. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that by 25. That can be any number you want. It's just max length of whatever. So that's that. So now if we save this and minimize, we'll come back in and you'll see in the spawning script, we get one string variable. Go to network manager, you see we've got one string variable. And if we click play, you'll see, oh, I need to put it down a little bit. So if I just 50 instead of 40. So then what's gonna happen is, when I click in this and delete it, you'll see in the spawning script IP, it updates automatically. So, what I'm going to do is, in the connect address up here, I'm just going to delete that just to prove that it actually works. I'm going to put 127.0.0.1. And you'll see that it automatically updates in the IP address. And if I click host, you'll see that it, it sends me in and it also puts in the connect address, right? So, for all intents and purposes, if I just save this out and then build it, this is just the easiest way to show you. Right, so as you can see now, we've got this so the actual unity itself i'm going to host it on the original local host and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same ip because it's just local host for now you can use the ip your actual ip to connect to this so if your mate wants to connect to your game he will have to connect to your actual ipv4 ip so again if you go to a previous tutorial you'll know how to get your ipv4 ip and then put that ip into this and then it'll work. So if I just click client, there we go. You'll see we're all moving about. We're all having a good time. And if I click L, it'll make me big. And it'll just make me big, not everyone else. And if I click on that and click L, it'll make him big as well. You see how we've got animations as well? And if I go to this, if I just go here, just so I can show you. If I move about, you'll see how we've all got animations. That's another tutorial for the next tutorial. That is the quickest way to have your send able to input an IP instead of hard coding it into the actual unit transform it send. So hey guys, I've been Mr. Benji. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, do not forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you actually are new to the channel and you have subscribed already, welcome. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you've got any comments on anything you want me to do, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get to it. I'll try and get to it anyway. I've seen loads of comments for these two specific tutorials, so this is why I've actually brought it in and shown you because I know people want to make basic games and want to play with their mates, so that's how you do it. Them two tutorials, so this tutorial and the previous tutorial is exactly how you will play with your friends in-game. Stop having a dirty mind. So yeah, guys, I've been Mr. Benji. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good weekend because it is currently the weekend for me. So yeah, guys, I've been Mr. Benji. Thank you very much for watching and peace.